So we just went through Petco. Um, that turned so, out okay. I've gotten everything figured out for the video. Morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Amarel? Are we doing sniff? Good morning. How are we, Riddler? We're doing. I really want to fight with my brother, but you told us no. And Sassy's doing nap. What are you doing, sniffing my shoe? I know I haven't worn these shoes in a while, but you act like you've never seen shoes. Speaking of shoes, I need to do a little dog shaming and show you what MRL did to one of my favorite pairs. He chewed the strap and the toe strap, so this needs to be completely restrapped. Thanks, MRL. Um, so today I've got class. My last day of class is on Thursday, so woohoo! Um, I gotta stretch. I just finished, so evaluation papers that I had to do for a group and for my group and then I have to drop off some macaroni and cheese at my mom's office and um hi and then I have to take my brother to tennis at 2.30 but mom actually suggested that I take MRL and do some training with him so I might be taking little boy to Petco after I drop off my brother at tennis. Would you want to do that? Would you want to go to Petco and see all the animals? Yeah, would that be a fun idea? Yeah, I don't know. Um, it'll just be more like socializing. He won't have his... Well, I might bring his halty to work with him a little bit on that, but... I won't put his vest on him or anything, so he'll be more chill. And of course, if it's a pet-friendly place, it's a pet store. So. Because I have had someone on Instagram, like, apparently, like, deeply analyzing the locations I have taken him to. And they've all been pet-friendly locations. Tractor Supply and Lowe's. And I've called and told, asked both of them. So I'm just like, okay. Why do you care? I know when my dog is ready for non-pet-friendly and he's not yet. But whatever. So now I'm about to get ready to head off to class and I'll check back in with you guys later. So we got little boy doing, well he's not, he's doing a little bit of training but if the camera would focus on him. There he is. We're just doing a little sniffing around, just chilling. He's gone through most of the store. We experienced loud filters and right now, of course, he doesn't have his vest on. We're just walking around here, just making sure that he's okay. And slowly getting him used to just all the weird sights and smells. So, yep. Not necessarily PA work, more just getting used to things. And don't worry, guys, this is Petco. This is probably the most pet friendly store I could even think of. So, he will be fine. Hey, guys! There's Emerel. What do you think, bud? So, we just went through Petco. Um, that turned out okay. We did a little bit of light training, just let him sniff around. I mean, of course he was nervous at first because it was a brand new area. I should have brought his halty because we were pulling a lot, weren't we, bud? But he got to meet a lot of people, got to look at a couple of dogs, didn't really interact with them. We learned that it's okay to go by the fish section where there's fishy filters that are really loud. And I think the aquatic turtles didn't like him. He, he wasn't doing anything to them, but they were making noises, so. But I call that pretty successful. Do you think it was fun, bud? And I also got a couple of items. So the first is his Zook's roasted chicken treats that he freaking loves. Because we're out of them. And then we're going to be trying a legit Kong. So this should be fun for both him and his brother. So now we have two kind of Kong toys and I can put stuff in it and it'll be fun. What do you think? 
No, we don't want to try it right now. All right, well, we got to go and pick up my brother from tennis, so I will check back in with you guys later. Hey, guys. It's a Derby Riddler. Off you go. Derby Sassy. Derby Emerald going off with him. And I want to show you guys, I can't, you can't really see them, but you could probably hear them, and it's adorable. So, listen. I don't know if you can hear that well, but guys, will you kill each other? Will you kill each other away from me? There you go. Go kill each other. Have fun. Public service announcement. My dogs are not literally murdering each other. But if they keep getting close to me, they're going to kill me. So stop. I'm trying to keep distance from them and they keep following me. What you heard there was baby barn swallows. They make a nest up in our carport. And you don't really see them, they're, but they're adorable. But in that corner up there, there's also a nest. And they're usually there. And dogs are running. Yeah, I'm having them run out some energy. But um, if I can say something without the dogs trying to kill me, Riddler, I'm looking at you. MRL, I'm looking at you too. So... I've gotten everything figured out for the video. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I plan on for Mental Health Awareness Month, which is next month, to create a video called Faces of Mental Illness to you know, show that those of us suffering with mental illnesses were not the stigmas that have been placed upon us. You know, some people have given us like stigmas like depressed people crying all the time or people with dissociative identity being just insane killers things like that so my idea was to create a video showing you know what mental illness really looks like um so for this video it could be a maximum of one minute 30 seconds anything below that's perfectly fine and with what you need to say in the video, I think it will fit that timeline perfectly. Um, so what I need you to do in the video is say your name, how old you are, what mental illness or illnesses you are diagnosed with, what is the worst thing about having a mental illness. Sorry, my mom had come home and then we were all hanging out. You could tell because it's dark-ish. Yeah. But anyway, so... You also need to answer what is the best thing about having a mental illness because there's always a positive to everything. Um, like examples for best things could be, you know, it gave you a better perspective in life or it allowed something for you or you got to meet somebody. I don't know. So, like the example that I have is my name is Raven. I'm 22 years old. I have generalized anxiety disorder, major depressive disorder, and panic disorder. The worst thing about having mental illness is feeling trapped. The best thing about having mental illness, oh, hi kitty. Look guys, I have a cat, I promise. See, her name is Gypsy. You don't always get to see the kitty. Can I have kisses? Can I have kisses? No, not this time. Okay. And the best, <laughs> sorry. That was just, whew. And the best thing about my mental illnesses is I've been able to use it as a positive outlet to inspire other people. So, you could just record the video however you'd like to. If you'd rather use text, that's fine. If you'd rather show something else like your dog's face or the grass, I don't care. Um, but the video has to be, like... It could be at the max, one minute and 30 seconds long. Not over that. It could be under that. That doesn't matter. And then the way to submit your clips to me is submitting them to my Gmail account, which is pressing the panic button at gmail.com. Put that here, put it in the link, and I'll keep it down in the description below. The last date for submission will be May 19th which is also my birthday yay and then the video will be up by the next week so that's four weeks to get a video in if you would not like to participate that's fine 
if you can, tell other people about it. See if anybody else would like to participate and send them to this video. Hey guys! So there's be one of my sleepy boys. Oh baby. They're my other sleepy boy and there's my already sleep girl. So, what has the rest of the night been? Um, I posted to all my social media about submitting videos. I've already gotten one submission in. That's pretty awesome. But of course, the deadline for submissions is not till May 19th, so it's okay if you can't get it in now. Don't worry about that. Um, and then I was like, you know, I haven't heard from my friend Jordan in a while, so we FaceTimed. And now, we're not FaceTiming right now because she's getting dinner. She is, she lives in Washington, so of course, three hour time difference right now. Um, and even though it's like nine here, it's like, you know what? I don't have anything going on tomorrow, so whatever, I'll stay up. Hi, Riddler. Hi. 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 Could you not take my spot? Okay, do you want the body pillow? Do you want the pillow, sir? Okay. I completely did not even have the camera on you. Uh, I'm horrible at the camera sometimes. But uh, now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Let's see. Question of the day is, if you watch Netflix, what is the current show you are binging on? For me, it's American Horror Story. Let's put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Night-night, Riddler. Night-night, Emerald. And night night sassy girl.